Hi everyone, it's uh, Kathy Ryan here in Bundaberg, Queensland, just trying to get you there. Oops, too far. Okay, that might do. I have, you see before you, um, a canvas <laughs> with some black paint on. Where's my measuring stick? I th oh, from memory, I think it's 10 by 10 inch. Um, and I can't find the tape measure, but we'll pretend that that's what it is. So, yeah. Earlier on, I couldn't sleep. It's like 2 a.m. So I um, ended up watching a video from uh, Julie Kirk. It's up, she lives up north of me, a couple of hours drive. And she used beads. So I thought, what a brilliant thing. So that's what I'm going to try and emulate or emulate that copy but not exactly um, so I've got red turquoise white and obviously some black and the, the white has got uh, OGX in it no nobody else has it just the white and I'm going to sort of give myself a bit of a line okay that looks pretty straight. And put on the turquoise. Okay. Probably should have had these in those little squeezy bubbles. And uh, some red. Not as straight as Julie had it, so lucky for me, I am not exactly copying, and I want a bit of space there between the two. I'm dribbling. All quiet. The recipe is um, for the paint and the pouring medium you'll find below this video under show more. There's also a link there to my Facebook group which is Australia Art Dreaming. You're more than welcome to come and join us there. I'd like to have your company. You don't have to paint to join the Facebook group. You can uh, you can uh, post up anything that you make. I fully believe that Crocheting, knitting, needlework, it's all art. My opinion. Okay, I think that red should be alright. I've messed it up a little bit, but we'll see. This is the first one of these that I've done, so a learning experience. I wonder what one um, just black and white would look like. I think that might be nice. All right, I'll just dob these away. Dip a dobber. Pretty good. Still seem a little bit, but yeah. Okay, beads. Well, 
not at all like what Julie did. <laughs> okay, that's all right. So, oh, come back here. And I shall just turn it around. I'm getting some cell action, so the white must be there somewhere. Unless it's the flow troll. nice this is not doing the game so I'm going to uh, rinse off the beads quickly I think I shall be a second Cells. So before I do anything here, I might see how it goes if I tilt it. Bring these lines down a bit more. do like. So I'm going to rub my hands here and torch. Julie didn't use any silicon but I thought I'm just a bit different. See why Julie didn't use any silicon. Nonetheless, I'm going to tilt it a bit more, bring this red and black down because I really like that. It's a bit slow, but it's getting there. Okay. 
Okay. I'm very happy. This has turned out rather nicely. So, should I give it a bit more of a torch? I think I will. subscribe please do click the little bell and you'll be notified then as I put up more videos into YouTube and um, and please give this one a thumbs up I do appreciate that and thank you very much to the cuts for the uh, inspiration I hope I haven't even wrecked it <laughs> that's very pretty and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll just bring it in and let you see. I think the next one I do will not have any silicon. There is a reason, I think, why they say don't use silicon in some things. This is it. <laughs> However, it has turned out really pretty, so I'm quite happy. Looks like organ bells doesn't it all right well thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now